Well, welcome to Rayleigh Farm and Field. Uh, today we're going to plant a, some more Hastings Prolific. And we're going to use this International 350 Utility and the Ford 309 Double Row Planter. And some of you may have seen uh, where a couple of days ago we did this field across the road. It's about an acre, acre and a half field. And we did it in uh, Hastings using the Farm All 140. Well, today uh, we're going to plant some Hastings, but when we're finished with the Hastings, I want to show you what, what we're going to do. Let me see. I've got some seed over here I want to show you. We, uh, a friend of mine, uh, Brian Osborne, that's been helping me with this uh, grist mill here, we're restoring. This is a uh, 1943 Meadows grist mill, and we've been uh, working on the stones, refacing them, and Brian's an expert with that, and he's, uh, we'll probably finish up this Saturday and put it back together and paint it, and and it was pulled with this, uh, uh, this old international uh, UC-60. It's uh, built in 1955. And I know it's bright yellow and I'm used to red paint on an international, but uh, this, uh, these power units were federal yellow. And, um, but this is, uh, this is an interesting grist mill and we're we're gonna build a, a granary or an old country store here on our farm and and uh, sell cornmeal and grits just on saturdays and that's lazy boy old bear's 14 years old he's a good boy but let's uh let's go plant this hastings and when we're through planting the hastings this is what i wanted to show you in this old grease can, probably from World War II. This is a new variety. It's an unnamed <clears throat> variety that Brian Osborne gave me. And it was, it was popular with a few farmers around here 50, 60 years ago, and he doesn't even know the name of it, but it's a, of course, it's a white field corn and it's a giant corn. I mean, it's just a real big corn. And so I'm not sure if it's Hastings prolific because Hastings is a big corn, but we're gonna isolate it and uh, when we're through planting the Hastings, we're going to isolate this uh, about a mile away just to take a look at it and see, see exactly what we have here. So let's, uh, let's get on the old International and plant some corn. This is our food plot back in the back part of our property. This is where I turkey hunt. Uh, I deer hunt up here too. We've got a shooting house on one end, but I mainly turkey hunt. I'm a, I'm a big wing sh shooter. Uh, I hunt with old antique double barrel shotguns and reload my old am my ammo for them. But uh, this is a field of white clover. And I want to tell you both deer and turkeys love white clover. And what I did several years ago, I plowed in the clover over here just for a little area to start seed off in. It doesn't take a lot of seed in this area, but I'll use this to start my seed off. Now I've got to protect this. 
I'll, uh, I'll either put electric wire around it or sometimes if you keep a little corn on the ground, they'll leave your corn alone. But uh, the deer love these heirloom varieties, so you gotta protect this. Over here we have our orchard for wild game. We've got plum, wild plum trees, persimmons, apples, pears. But I tell you, wild game of all kind love white clover. So we're gonna use this Ford 309. We've got uh, triple tin in here today. Uh, on top of this clover, the, the uh, soil samples that we did were so healthy that we're cutting back on our, our end and we're gonna use triple tin in here. And I really like this Ford 309. It's a, it's a good planter. It, it doesn't replace the farm all. Uh, normally on a small uh, piece of land right here in this little area, we'd use the farm all for sure, but I already had this planter hooked up to do my hasting. So we've got just a handful in each hopper there of this new white uh, field corn that Brian Osborne gave me. And we're, we're gonna use our little 350 utility. It's a gas burner and good little tractor. Came out of Missouri, real good folks up there in Missouri were gracious enough to, to sell me their family tractor. Okay, well, let's go to work. It's a beautiful day, beautiful day. 